circle skirt series to show the proper way to hem a high-low skirt. You could use this technique in any kind of circle skirt, but specifically I would use it for the high-low skirt as opposed to any other way of hemming the high-low skirt. And you will see um, why I like to do this when we get to the video. And this technique is called hemming a circle skirt with a full facing. Okay, guys, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. This is the, um, I'm gonna do a small version of this um, high-low circle skirt because I'm gonna do the tutorial on how to use to hem a high-low circle skirt with a full facing. So this is the uh, nowhere near as to scale. So this is the first high-low circle skirt. You can see it's a circle and the hole in the middle is the waist and it's off-center because when it turns into a skirt, you're gonna have the low part in the back and the high part in the front, kind of something like, let me see if I can, like this. That would be the front and that would be the back and this will be the hole for the waist. And um, as you can see, the problem with the high-low skirt is you can see the inside of the skirt when you're wearing it. Like, like that. Let's pretend like my fingers are wearing this skirt and you can see how when I'm in the skirt you can see the back of the skirt. So when we hem it we're going to solve that problem. So this is the um, actual skirt and we're gonna hem it using the full facing method and the way you do that is you cut out another piece the exact copy of the original. So this is the original. I'm going to turn it over. No, I'm sorry. This is the original. This is the right side. Turn it over. This is the wrong side. We have another of the exact same. Let me get it into the lens. Of the exact same. So when we hem this skirt, we're making a full facing. The way you do that is you put the right sides together, line up the waist hole and we and we sew around here and then we turn it to the right side through the waist. I'm gonna go ahead and sew it together and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like and um, I will show you a picture of an actual circle skirt as well. One moment, let me do this and come back. Okay, I'm back and as you can tell I have sewn all array around and the next thing I'm going to do is we're pretending like this is a full size circle skirt. I'm using a smaller version which is definitely not up to scale at all because you know the waist would never be that big. I'm using a small version so it will be easier for me to show the entire method and after we sew around we're going to trim this down, the seam down to an eighth of an inch. If you're using a fabric that will ravel, unravel after you trim this down to an eighth of an inch, I highly suggest that you finish off the seam either with a zigzag stitch or with um, a serger or with an overcasting. and um, that way we won't have to worry about it raveling. But I'm using some denim from a reconstruction, uh, reconstruction project that's left over, so we don't have that issue. So now I've trimmed this down to an eighth of an inch, and what we're going to do is turn this to the right side out through the waist. That's why I made the waist hole so big on this demonstration. So when I turn it through to the right side, it will be fairly easy. When you make this for a actual real life person, it would be pretty easy to do this because the waist won't be that small. And now what you have is this. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna press, press the seam really well. 
Make sure you turn the seam all the way. Press the seam really well so it will lay flat. And then you top stitch around the seam. And you will be done. All you have to do is put the waistband on. So I'm going to go ahead and iron this down and I'm going to top stitch it and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done and I'll show you the difference between this and what it the difference between just hemming it regularly. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I sewed as close as I possibly could to the edge and now what happened is the seams are 100% completely enclosed so we won't have to worry about that coming apart and your circle skirt is fully lined so when you wear it now when you wear it now you don't see the wrong side of the fabric when you're out. If you can see that with my fingers being in there. So this is it fully lined and this would be with it not fully lined. You see that? See the difference? You can see the wrong side and right here all you see is the um, actual print on this side and you see the actual print on the front and on the inside as well. Now when you do this, seeing as you're fully lining, this will be the inside, this will be the outside, you can take this as a design opportunity and you could have the top of the skirt be one color and you can line it with a different print so you would have something like this and the skirt that I actually made um, to go along with this tutorial is actually two-toned. It has uh, one print on this side and one print on the other side. And depending on how you install the zipper, if you if you can find a um, reversible zipper, you can make this skirt actually reversible. All you would have to do is make sure that all of the seams are enclosed inside of the waistband. And actually, here is a picture of the skirt that I'm talking about that I made for Beauty for her birthday. One moment, let me show you that. And you can see how um, I lined that. It has one color on this side and one color on that side. And if you would like to have a tutorial for that, if you would like to see the tutorial, the full tutorial for that, you can um, check the link here, right there. And you can uh, go ahead and go to it. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around so I can talk to you guys so you won't be looking at this white space. One moment. Okay, um, like I was telling you on the video, you can take the lining of this uh, high-low skirt as a design opportunity. You can put one color in the back. I'm sorry, on the underside and one different print or color on the top. And you could have a reversible skirt depending on how you put the zipper or if you what type of fabric that you use. You can use this lining technique for any kind of circle skirt. The regular kind, the skater skirt, or the high-low skirt. I really prefer to do this on the high-low skirt as opposed to any other type of way of hemming it for the simple fact that it does hide the underside, the wrong side of the fabric. And it doesn't matter what kind of fabric you use either. I've done this on woven, which is what I prefer for a circle skirt because it makes it stand out really cute when you put a petticoat under it. And um, you can do this on uh, knit as well. I've done it on knit as well. So it works both ways. And um, yeah, so it, once again, if you would like to see that tutorial, you could click right here and you would see the tutorial for the high-low skirt that I made in that picture or you could also click in the description box there will be a link to it there as well also in the description box there will be a link to our website and there will be a link to our Tasha sewing tutorials Facebook fan page and a link to Tasha's um, so what next that is a fiber artist group that we have on Facebook and a link to modish fashion and abaya sewing which is only for women no men are allowed in that modest fashion and abaya sewing group because we talk about women's things and we don't some of the women do not feel comfortable talking about their clothing 
in the presence of men. So that is not open to men, but the So What Next group is open to everyone. And um, also, you will find a link to the Instagram page as well. And as usual, I would like to say, please like us and subscribe and happy sewing. See you guys next week.